Congratulations, you are an ABA author. That means you have been given the best marketing opportunity you could possibly have unless you were a divorce lawyer and your father-in-law was Fred Smith who owns FedEx, which has a slew of pilots who get in trouble with their marriages uh, from behavior all over the country and the world. Uh, positively, absolutely, overnight, someplace. Now, as a ABA author, you are the expert. You are the ABA sanctioned expert in your area of expertise. Let me hope for you that it is a useful area. I am Larry Rice. I am the author of the Complete Guide to Divorce Practice. And there are lots of people getting divorced. In fact, there are so many people getting divorced that I am too busy to come out and hang out with y'all for two days in Las Vegas and drink and behave inappropriately, I am going to court on a critical case while y'all are there. Lucky y'all. Even if you wrote your book on Icelandic fishing treaties of 1932, you are still the expert in Icelandic fish treaties from 1932. So if there is an event focusing on that, you should expect to be invited to speak, and you want to speak. You, you should look forward to those invitations to speak, and you should expect to be invited to speak when you hound people to death to invite you to speak. Good thing to do is send out notices so people know about you. A better thing is to actually go out and speak and do a good job. Be charming, be delightful, it's fun. Unlike the practice of law, where you have a courtroom full of people, where as soon as you stand up and speak and say anything, another equally trained, equally capable ad advocate will immediately stand up and go, no, they don't know what they're talking about. They can't know what they're talking about. I'm surprised they got a law license. I'm surprised they even got a driver's license. Okay, that's what happens in the courtroom. What's happening for you is when you go lecture, you are the expert, okay? Another little tip about lecturing, a lot of what's in my book, people have stood up in the back of the room and go, ah, Mr. Rice, did you think about such and such? And often I'm able to go, well, yes, I've thought about that. But there are times from time to time where I go, no, I did not think about that, which is actually speaker's code for, I will now steal your idea and pass it off as my own. Actually, my experience has generally been that when they have a better idea, they're more than willing to share it. Uh, in the divorce community, we're proud of what we do, but we're generally willing to help each other, especially when the other is not practicing in our local jurisdiction. It doesn't hurt us to do that. So you're going to want to lecture. Uh, you're going to want to get people to want you to come lecture and you're going to want to spread the word about it. This is press releases, okay? The thing about press releases, they're relatively easy to draft. They're relatively easy to send out in email, and they're relatively easy for the producers and the reporters to ignore. You don't want to be easy to ignore. It takes a little work, but what you need to do is get the list of local reporters, get the list of local news producers, and friend them on Facebook. Jo have them join your group on LinkedIn. And then when you send your press release out, yes, certainly, send it out hard mail, send it out email, but to your friends on Facebook, send it out in a personal message. Same thing on LinkedIn. Those get much better reception and much better action, okay? So you get the word out that you're the expert. Uh, also, social media, your adventures on Facebook and LinkedIn. And, and it may seem trivial or unimportant to you, but people do look at those things. On the other hand, if you're doing Facebook, you're doing LinkedIn, especially Facebook, don't make it just about you post jokes for most of what you're doing, post wise sayings for most of what you're doing. If all you're doing is advertising, people will quit looking at you. So on your Facebook, have a standard of 
three to five times jokes, pleasant sayings, to one, uh, I was recognized as the ABA's outstanding authority on Icelandic fish treaties from 1932. So that's how you use Facebook to help you. But one of the things you really want to do is sell books, all right? You want those royalty checks. Please follow my advice. Do not ever calculate the time that you spent writing this book compared to what you make from it on an hourly basis. You will then become so depressed that they don't even have medication that'll fix that. So let's try to cure this by making more money selling the book. That gets back to you going to speaking. When you go and speak someplace, you become well known. Some people in the audience may very well decide at that point to buy your book, but not all of them. The best speaking invitation you can have is one where you do the seminar and your book is a seminar material. Very hard to get people to invite you to do that, but when they do, it's great. You're going to sell a lot of books. You're going to sell a book to everybody who shows up. I've taken the next step, which is over the past 12 years, every other year I've had a seminar. And at my seminar, my book is the course material, which means I sell a book to everybody in the audience. And I sell a lot of books that way. Uh, just ask the other people on the panel, they'll tell you that. Congratulations. You are an ABA author. You have opportunities not available to other lawyers to increase the value of your practice. You, you have now justified with your fame and achievement the money that you spent on your legal education. Again, this is Larry Rice. My seminar is in March in Memphis, and I wrote the Complete Guide to Divorce Practice. By the way, the one last thing I'm going to tell you is be careful with your title. The ABA thought of the title for my book, which was a Complete Guide to Divorce Practice, which was an okay, but I thought somewhat braggadocious title until they decided, ooh, that sold really well. We want to do another one. And I said, well, what are you going to call it? The, yeah, we lied to you last time. This one's the complete guide to divorce practice. Or, yeah, you can believe us this time. They finally, with the great sense of humor that the ABA publishing department has, called it the complete guide to divorce practice second edition. So get you a better title. Thank you very much. I'm Larry Rice, author of the complete guide to divorce practice. I can be reached at Larry at Rice Law, and I'm available for continuing legal education seminars and entertaining at children's birthday party. Look forward to hearing from you, preferably for the lectures rather than the children's birthday party. Thank you.